such a fucking beautiful day. I miss the rain. I love the rain. It's a nice fucking day to drive, and of course I have to fucking work. It's raining. You can't see it, but it's raining. Suffering pain You should see By now has something I want to talk about and it's pretty pretty deep pretty dark so if you don't want to hear it you know, just skip ahead in the next few minutes here it goes I um I've had a lot of people in my life recently um, not just kind of up and go and aren't in my life anymore and that's fine I have come to terms with that at this point and I'm okay with it. And something happened just now. And kind of, ooh, ooh, a little bit ago, and kind of yesterday. I went, um, it, that, there, there was a storm the other night. There's footage of that. And I went to go pick up food for my coworkers, and I was like, afterwards, because I didn't want to go home and I wanted to drive in the rain. I realized I needed boots in the car because, you know, everything was flooded and I had, like, these fucking really thin shoes on. So anyways, um, this morning, a little bit ago, I went and decided to go, you know, finally put boots in my car and it reminded me of how I had a conversation yesterday with my coworkers about how, you know, I've got two backpacks in my car, just full of, there are two backpacks, one in my car, on my main backpack, just full of shit. And how I have two med kits in my ba main backpack, and just like you never know when you might need something like that. With like the stories I've heard and the shit I've seen, you never know. And just by thinking about that, it rem reminded me of one of the stories someone, one of those people who aren't in my life anymore. Um, told me and I was really really close with her really really close with her um, Basically She was at work she worked at a subway and this guy came in and This guy came in and shot and killed her co-worker right in front of her And I remember first night her and I had been, like, actually hung out she told me that story we told a lot of really deep personal stories and I remember just when she was telling me about this that I had this deep empathy for her and I just wanted to do nothing but fucking protect her from the world and 
make sure shit like this doesn't happen and other stuff that she ta told me about happens again. For some reason when I was thinking about that story today, I had this weird inclination. Let me look this story up. Let me find some validity. Maybe, maybe I can find... Maybe she was lying, you know. Just trying to... Just try to find something, you know. I looked it up. Of course, you know, the story's real. She didn't lie about it. And I don't know why that idea popped into my head, but it did. And I looked it up, and there's many articles you can look it up and you can find it. But this one article in particular, it had her full name. And I read her name, and it just kind of shocked me. And I remember reading the quotes that they got from her. And some of those quotes are exact words she said to me that night when she was telling me the story. And I guess what bothers me the most about this is why now? You know, why now am I thinking about this? Why now am I deciding to look into it and reopen this fucking box when I've been doing good? I've been doing so fucking good. And I feel like I'm finally moving on. And it's like, why out of all times when I'm starting to feel better, am I, I guess, sabotaging myself? I don't know. That's, uh, that's my rant for today. A lot of art for sale. A lot of really cool people. Round of applause for the artists. <laughs> Look, it's us making unknown space here at the pool. Nah, this is me getting shredded cheese at 3 a.m., bro. Is that? <laughs> That's me getting shredded cheese at 3 a.m., bro. Hello? Probably is someone's back here. Fucking. Alright, that's it. Alright, what are you getting me into? Look at that. That's me after like three Thai teas. Oh no, thank you. Tom, once he gets his eyes on the popcorn chicken. Alex, you think Kung Fu Hustle? Yeah, I think it's a fucking. Thank you. Hey. Hey, yo, I'm walking in. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Whoa. There's someone right there. Hey, I see you. I can't see shit in my camera. Is that a person? I feel like that's real. That's not real. Nah. Look, he's got no legs. Motherfucker got no legs. You can't even see in my camera. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! Have you seen Monty Python? Hi. There's like shit in there. There's like actual feces over there. What the hell, Thomas? Did you feel that? <laughs> Yo, look, look, it's you with your fucking red glasses. Can you chill out? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Jesus, fuck. Ah! Hi. How you doing? Huh. One of these is gonna blow up, right? Tommy fucking menace. Just walk. <laughs> Did I scare you? Like Scoob, I don't know about this man. Ah, the smoke. Ah. That's fucking interesting. Oh Jesus Christ! That's what Tom leads because he's a big boy. He can take it. Ah, the smoke. Ah. Dude, that's kind of freaky. Whoa. Watch your right. There's a thing there. That's gonna open up. That's creepy, bro. <laughs> oh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> I called it, did I not?
Ah! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you seen Monty Python in the Holy Grail? Where he's like, Jesus Christ, when they throw the fucking cow at him. That's my favorite line in that whole movie. Let's pretend this isn't take two.
you. God damn. That's right. <laughs> stupid she looks. I mean, she looks so cute. I love when she makes this face. Hey! You good girl? <gasps> I could go. I could go. <laughs>